Hello everyone, I know it's been a while since I filmed my last tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to use three of my favorite products from Max to the Beach collection. And in this tutorial I also demonstrate how I apply my NARS Multiple Tint, which is a limited edition product. All the products used in this tutorial will be listed on my blog, which is linked below in the description box. And with that said, let's get started. I'm going to start with my Dior Forever Foundation. Today I'm just going to apply it with my fingers. Just gently smooth, smooth it around. Now I've got my foundation on and so I'm going to apply powder. Apply the powder everywhere except along your actual cheeks and your cheekbone and you'll find out why later. Next I'm going to fill in my brows using my Shiseido pencil. Now that my brows are complete, I'm going to zoom in so we can start on the eye makeup. I'm going to start off with a base using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now I'm going to take the collection Sweet and Punchy Eyeshadow on a Sigma 239 brush and pack the color generously all over the lid, fading out as you end toward the eye. You want to avoid taking the color up too far. Take the color up slightly past your lid, but not much more. I'm going to apply one more layer. Now without picking up any color, just use what's on the brush. Bring the eyeshadow just around the inner corner of your eye. And now we're done with Sweet and Punchy. Now I'm going to take Lancome Seal de Soie. This is a matte gray shadow on a Lancome 17 crease brush. And now I'm going to apply it on the outer half of my eye. And I chose this gray color because it's a great contrast to the green. I'm going to keep the color as close to the lid and the lash line as possible at the outer corner of my eye just because we don't want anything overly dramatic. In my opinion, sweet and punchy is quite dramatic, so we don't need anything too harsh like black. Make sure not to over apply this corner color here because you really want the focus to be the sweet and punchy eyeshadow. I'm going to take my Lancome Art Liner and quickly run it across my lids and apply my false lashes. As you can see, I have quickly applied my liner, and now I'm just going to curl my lashes. I'm going to apply these darkness lashes, which I absolutely love. Okay everyone, so as you can see, I've applied my false lashes. And now, you absolutely don't have to do this, but if you would like, you can take your sweet and punchy eyeshadow and go back and, and layer. I'm just going to pat this color onto my lid. I'm going to take my Lancome Eyeliner one more time and redefine my liner. And this time, I'm going to add a very dramatic wing. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering why I'm doing this now instead of earlier. And that's because I like to apply my liner 
specific to certain lashes and these are the kind of lashes that I prefer to see on before I complete my look. Most dramatic lashes do tend to change the way your eye shape looks, so not only will it affect your eyeshadow, it'll affect your liner. Alright, now I'm going to repeat this process on my other eye and then we will complete the look. And now I'm going to use my NARS Multiple Tint. And it is called Catechess. And it's a beautiful, bright, hot pink. But it applies very sheerly and it actually lasts all day. So all you need are two swipes just across the tops of your cheekbones. And the reason why I told you not to apply any powder on top of your cheeks is because this product applies best on top of foundation. If you apply it on top of powder, it can get a little cakey and hard to blend. So now I'm just going to take my finger and slowly blend it out. You can over blend using this product, so I suggest you use a gentle hand. And now I'm going to lightly tap around my cheek to press the product into my skin. And I found that this is the best way to apply this cheek color. You can go back and apply more on the places where you feel like you need a little extra coverage. And it does dry to a powder finish and it lasts all day. But if you have plans for a long day out, I suggest you use a powder blush like this by Illamasqua. And this is in Katie. And apply this gently along the tops very sheerly. And just to show the effect that it would have, I'm going to use a Sigma stippling brush. And just tap the powder on top of the NARS Sheer Multiple Tint. There you go. Now I'm going to apply the color to the other side. And now I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown powder on my MAC 150 brush and just set the blush. You can skip this step if you don't feel like you need it. And last but not least are the lips. I'm going to start with Max Life's a Breeze Lip Pencil. And now I'm going to apply Lazy Day Lipstick. And Lazy Day is the perfect complement to the Life's A Breeze lip pencil. And I generally never wear a lip liner, but this is an excellent color that you can also wear all over your lips. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.